Hello and welcome to 10 plugins you must have on your server. Or don't, up to you, but trust me, you better do. After all, you are here to learn about those magical things called plugins, right? So, let's start. I prepared a small presentation using one of the plugins in the list, as you can see. So, I'll quickly go over the plugins listed here if you just want the list and if you want quick summary and explanation of what each of one of them does then stick around and find out so the plugins we will be showing is essentials x luck perms vault votifier voting plugin world edit world guard those two usually go together core protect decent holograms better rtp and dmap well i won't be showing how they work but i'll show you the website and where to download them from and give a brief introduction to which well, what each plugin does. So, let's begin. Alright, and before we continue, you know the drill. So, each plugin we have here will be linked down in the description so you can easily access them and get the legit download links. So, you know, the Google doesn't suggest you some fraudulent sites or scam sites or anything. Because I've been in server business for past 10 years and, yeah, I just want to provide the best for my subscribers i wanted to say followers but oh what the world does to me but anyways as i said before let's begin first of all plugins i will be showing you is essentials x essentials x is well essential plugin for any server the plugin allows you to do multitude of things including moderation command shortcuts and even economy many other plugins use essentials x as a backbone as well and yeah, many other servers use it as their core for every command you might encounter, like, for example, spawn, uh, I don't know, warps, what else, TPA, set home, home, balance, you know, economy things. And it's basically a pretty much essential plugin for every kind of server. If you want to know more, you can check their wiki up here. And as you can see, you have an introduction, installing, module breakdown, what each of those things do. And yeah, and you can have all the commands and command cooldowns and basically a full made on Wikipedia for this plugin. But yeah, that's that about Essentials X. If you want to have commands or a bundle of million commands, this is the plugin I recommend. Next on our list is Luck Perms. What is Luck Perms? Luck Perms is the ultimate rank plugin. If you want ranks, this is a plugin for you. It allows you to create ranks with different permissions, looks, colors, and on top of all of that is extremely customizable. It even has a web dashboard. And let me see if I can find it over here. I think there should be... No, hold on. There should be editor uh, yeah we have demo and as you can see it has own own dashboard that you can operate all in your browser and then just click apply well apply option will be here if you run this from server and all the changes you made on your web dashboard will be applied to your minecraft servers and yeah it's amazing plugin i recommend it it's one of the best and there's not much else to say. If you want ranks, permissions, groups, and everything that comes together, this is the plugin to use. So let's get on to the next plugin. Now, Vault. What is Vault plugin, you might be asking, and why is it tested on Minecraft version like the last one, 1.17? Well, Vault is a permission chat and economy API that gives you plugins, easy hooks, into those systems without having to hook or depend on each individual plugin themselves, as it says right here. In other words, it allows things like Lucky Perms, Essentials X, Watting plugins, and many other plugins to connect to each other and work without issues. And yeah, like the world, like any plugin, or let's say 99.9% .9 plugins that you download will require the world. Now, I'm a bit old school, as you can see, since this is 1.17 uh, version, but as you can see, works great on my 1.20.4 server, 
ignore the people rating one star blah 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 as you can see it works and that is the most important thing which is actually the fun stuff about the minecraft server plugins that some plugins that are not complicated may work if they are older version of minecraft or the newer version of minecraft but some plugins might not so it's the best to test them on local server and i made a tutorial for that so if you want check it out up there the notification should pull up but you know i'll leave the link link to the video in the description too but yeah vault is essential plugin for nearly any server well basically essentials x lucky perms and vault is like for now three plugins that you need like your server won't operate with them unless you're running just a simple uh, vanilla minecraft server okay let's go on to the other sp spigot another plugin now those two plugins i bundled together because they are from the same developer and they work uh mostly best when they're combined like you can use uh, world guard without world edit and you can use world edit without the world guard but uh, they are best when they are set up together because they work with each other very well. Well, because they are from the same developer. World Edit is a plugin that allows you to build massive structures in half of time. It uses set block commands to allow you to place large amount of blocks, paintings, and randomize them. Randomize them is an amazing tool that I used a lot when, for example, creating a road for your spawn. So you can randomize it like to be like grass, gravel, I don't know, uh, brown clay or brown uh, wet clay you know you understand me so you can make a var var variety i'm sorry about that of blocks and amazing randomization instead of placing them manually anything you can dream of building in minecraft can be made easier with world edit so it's my 100 percent recommendation and world guard also as you can see uses world edit to create regions that player can be given access or not it will prevent unwanted players from entering or breaking anything in the region, which is absolutely needed for any public server, for example, if you want to protect your spawn. So, my recommendation is, you don't have to do it, but always download those two plugins together. Like, if you are searching for World Edit, also download World Guard. If you are just searching for World Guard, download World Edit too. But yeah, let's move on to the next plugin. The next plugin is called Votifier, or in this case, New Votifier or Votifier Plus. Now, what the, does the Votifier do? It's a plugin that connects your server to voting websites, allowing players on your server to vote, moving your servers up, and gaining more publicity on voting well, listings. And to be able to recognize vote and reward your players for voting. It also allows other plugins to hook into it, allowing you to give your players, well, rewards for voting. What did I just say? And yeah, that's basically that. So if you want voting on your server from Minecraft server listings, use now new Votifier or use Votifier Plus. Uh, this also is stuck on 1.17 version of Minecraft, but, 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 as you can see, if you check reviews, it still works for the latest release of Minecraft. And yeah, I actually used this and had no issues. But if you want to use something a bit more updated, there is Votifier Plus I just found out recently about, which is on 1.20 version. And as you can see, it's excellent. It works. So yeah, basically that's that. If you want voting on your server, you need the new Votifier. And the next plugin, will actually be tied up to this Votifier. So let's jump to it. So the next plugin I was mentioning before is called Voting Plugin. Now, what is Voting Plugin? It's basically an advanced vote listener to receive votes that you get from, let's say, voting sites. It also allows you to give rewards for players voting on the sites and hooks into the Votifier Plus or new Votifier. And it has a lot of options like sound effects, like basic rewards, like you can see features. And yeah, it's basically if you want to reward your players for 
playing on your server and voting on your server well mostly voting on your server or for your server this is a plugin that you can set as you can see a lot of stuff and as you can see you have basic rewards advanced rewards requirements to give rewards like permissions world chance online offline and world groups which is if i'm not wrong world groups is or ties up into the vault which ties up into the lucky permission so yeah as you can see every plugin has some kind of soft dependency on each other and the best thing is it is for the newest version so it should work fine without issues and yeah that's that so let's skip to the next plugin shall we the next plugin is actually a good plugin for server moderation if you want well to protect from griefing so core protect as you can see is a data logging and anti-griefing tool it allows you to roll back your server in case of massive griefings corruption or any other reasons and it doesn't even affect your server performance like there's a lot of options to cover in one video or well in this video for example and as you can see what does it log blocks broken by players placed by players natural blocks breakage Bucket usage, blah, 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 blah. And as you can see, a lot of stuff. And the best part is that anything you don't want. So, for example, a player A takes diamonds from player B. And this player denies that he took the diamonds. You can just use the commands to check which items were deposited or taken from the chest. And yeah, for example, with just for inspect or CO and then Y. And as you can see, it says, what do you do? And the plugin is mainly a requirement for any server that specialize, specializes or strongly is against the griefing. For example, survival servers. So, yeah, it's updated, it's maintained, and it's one of the best uh, data logging uh, plugin for protection. So yeah, 100% recommend, you won't, how do you call it, <laughs> you won't regret that you install it. Only thing it does, which I learned and I'll share with you now, is I don't remember exactly how the file is called, but the logs, of course, have to be kept somewhere. And that log file can get pretty big. Now there's feature, if I'm not wrong, that you can set up so it auto cleans the logs, which is a plus and minus. For example, you won't have logs from the start of the server from day one or the day you install the plugin, but it will also make most recent logs available and won't take up your server space. Because you can guess that logging every single thing a player does on Minecraft, as you can see over here, takes quite a bit of the, like space. And it won't maybe take a lot of space over one day, week, but over time it adds up and it eats your server storage. So keep that in mind to keep that in check. But yeah, let's get on to the next plugin. This plugin is called Better RTP. Well, what it does, it's a must have plugin for any server or survival server because it allows players to randomly teleport around the server or around your world to say. And yeah, it provides simple but fast random teleportation of players to your server world. It has many options from which you can set up where, how, where and how players are randomly teleported. And it must have, <laughs> it is must have for any server. That's that. There's not much to explain about it. It's pretty straightforward, but you drop it in your server, players type RTP or types wild, and they will get teleported to the, to the, random coordinates uh, that you have set up for your server and or worlds or maximum as you can see hate uh, everything is customizable and to respect to our world borders so yeah that's that and it's a good feature to have because this way you ensure that each player gets their own random spot on your server so they don't get crowded up in one place uh, one place or for example they don't have to run out out of the spawn to find a place they want to settle in and yeah let's move on to the two last plugins which are also optional but are pretty amazing at what they do so last but not least plugin is decent holograms 
Now, what this plugin does, as you can see, is the hologram plugin for anyone. Using commands, you can use create holograms and make them look very unique. Thanks to many features, this plugin has without even touching any configuration file. So, uh, decent holograms uses invisible armor stands on name text to create floating text, as you can see over here, that all players can read. If you ever seen something like this on Hypixel or any other server, it was probably this plugin. Or, well, not this, maybe custom made or similar plugin. And yeah, this plugin is a must have for any public server because it's useful at displaying, as you can see, custom information. If, for example, uh, rules if you want to have them on the spawn or for example if you want some kind of weird totem thing as you can see because you can add entities to it and as you can see there's a lot of features and yeah that's that as you can see for example you can just lines next to each other you can set infinite options and yeah as the plugin says get creative you can do basically anything with configurable lines offsets and hates and the best thing is it's updated to the last version also. So yeah, I don't think I will do any tutorials on those plugins, maybe in future, but if you need any help, feel free to, you know, just drop down a comment because some of those plugins can get a bit of confusing, but there's also a good uh, well downside, but plus side that every plugin, as you can see, has their own Wikipedia on which you can click and it explains every plugin basically to the bone so yeah if you need any help feel free to leave a comment and i'll do my best to assist you with the information i have from my youtube comment anyways let's move to the last plugin the last plugin is called din map so what is a din map it's a google maps like server or Google Maps like map for your Minecraft server that can be viewed in a browser. It's pretty good if you want to run some kind of roleplay server. For example, I don't know if you have a like MMORPG map where people can see where they are, what stuff is where and you know where they need to travel. For example, if you don't use warps and homes and things like that. If you ever played some MMORPG game, you know what I'm talking about. So you can navigate around the world that way. And as you can see, it has a lot of features. It is easy to install, first time use. I won't make a tutorial on it, at least not yet, because I don't have a live server. Well, I have a live server, but currently not using it. And as you can see, it has a lot of add-ons for many popular plugins, like, for example, World Guard we were mentioning, for example, Essentials, for example, Grief Prevention we mentioned in our previous video. And let's say Player Warps is also a popular plugin and Citizens. And yeah, as you can see, it looks like on this video preview or thumbnail or on this screenshot, which is absolutely high quality screenshot. Hold on, give me a second to try to pull up a bit higher resolution. So yeah, as you can see, this is the screenshot I first showed, but I pulled up some other screenshots. As you can see, this is, for example, how it looks like. Somehow on Google, I just can't find any HD pictures of DINMAP, but as you can see, this is a huge world displayed in a DINMAP, and then you have... Oh, that was a phone notification, I'm sorry if you heard that, but yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. For example, this is other example, as you can see, players having a small town, and as you can see, you can see who claimed what and how it looks like. So, for example, this example, I think is 2D? No, 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 that's 3D. Yeah, this is 3D, 3D, yeah, all those examples are 3D, but just to get a general idea, as you can see, actually, this is a HD map, well, a bit higher resolution, but for example, you can see where the players are, and yeah, what they built, for example, it's pretty cool plugin, and I'm pretty sure your players will love it, and as you can see, you can, for example, see chunk errors, for example, over here, come on, let's go down Google, come on, yeah, over here. Yeah, that was just fun stuff, but yeah, I think that was the last plugin for this video. Maybe we can make more plugin tutorials or plugin reviews or plugin what you must have for server. We will see on that on future, but yeah. Anyways, back to this masterpiece. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you to, to pick few plugins that you might use on your server. 
I know they might not be the best plugins or the most interesting plugins, but trust me, you won't regret picking any of them since they are core plugins on like 99.9% .9 servers, unless the server is using some kind of custom plugin developer, you know, doohickey stuff. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching and hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys next time. Stay awesome.